folks, Coach Sean here with Kettlebell Strength Sport. I had a very interesting question posed to me at a seminar I did on the weekend. The, uh, the participant, uh, it was actually a coach, asked me, what is the benefit between the kettlebell snatch or clean as opposed to the dumbbell variation? More specifically, why would I get my athletes performing it with a kettlebell as opposed to a dumbbell? And it's a very good question, uh, a, very, a very just question. The answer is this though. <clears throat> If you're a boxer and you learn to punch a certain way for the sport of boxing, it could look something like this. Shoulder is up, protecting your chin. You're going to drive from the back leg, letting that energy travel all the way up the body. Internally rotate the shoulder, keep the wrist straight, and drive with these first two knuckles at moment of impact. Also, tightening up during moment of impact, letting out a sharp exhale and tightening the entire chain during that moment of impact. Now, if you're a traditional martial artist, let's say karate, your punches may look something like this. Shoulder down, one in the chamber. Still connecting with this, these first two knuckles, staying tight, controlled breathing, but it looks very, very different. More of a traditional, more of a, a static type punch. Maybe they're doing it for a different reason. There's Taekwondo and there's also Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee's fighting method. He greatly believed in taking what works and discarding the rest. And he was an advocate for punching and connecting with these last three knuckles, keeping a neutral wrist. Very different. Here's the thing, they're all punches. They all come from slightly different disciplines and methods. I cannot say one is better than the other. They serve different purposes and they will probably fit different individuals better. Getting back to the kettlebell versus dumbbell question, <clears throat> it's gonna depend. It's gonna depend on your athletes, the demand of your athlete's sport. One thing I will say about the kettlebell variation is it is more of a hip hinge dominant setup, and it's gonna recruit the posterior chain greatly. So if the athlete has a movement dysfunction, and cannot recruit their posterior chain or hip hinge worth a damn, then chances are they should put some time into patterning it, the kettlebell deadlift, two-hand swing, and eventually have some of that unilateral work, like snatches and cleans. If the athlete is more quad dominant and, wants, and likes to squat a lot of the time, they're going to feel more comfortable with the dumbbell. Absolutely. The dumbbell travels in a straight line all the way up. They're allowed to get up on their toes and pull and punch that way. It greatly depends on the motivation level of the athlete, whether they have a movement dysfunction that they want to correct, and the demand of their sport. I believe the kettlebell variation, the setup alone, is worth doing. It's healthier. It's a more fluid movement. Right? You're also taking a weight through a greater range of motion. You have that benefit of the hike back. So the proprioceptive the benefits for proprioception, feeling your forearm making contact on your adductors and then pulling and punching, landing in a straight position, straight wrist, locked out elbow, shoulder down and back, I believe that is healthier for the entire chain. Right? So a healthier, more efficient movement, greater strength potential, less risk of injury. Now, I have trained with the dumbbells and I've trained with kettlebells. I'm an advocate for kettlebells. I'm not saying it's better, but I think there are more benefits training with kettlebells if your athlete has the discipline and the time to commit to learning them. Okay. That is a long answer. There, there are actually more points that I could bring up, like uh, each and every repetition will be longer, therefore there's more work capacity involved. Um, it takes greater focus. It's an awkward and unique shaped object. Therefore, there's more energy, more mental focus there. Um, this was a long answer. I hope it was worth sharing. And please comment below if you don't, if you don't agree with this. Okay? Coach Sean, Kettlebell Strength Sport. Stay tuned. We'll see you, see you next time.